So in a previous video we introduced a cosh and shine with these definitions and also derived this identity cosh squared x minus shine squared x uh, equals 1. And just like we do with ordinary sine, cos and tan, we'll extend these um, to, uh, to hyperbolic uh, tan and other functions related to it. So uh, for example we're going to have uh, tanch x, hyperbolic tan of x, that's the hyperbolic sine of x divided by the hyperbolic cosine of x. We've got a uh, sec of x, the hyperbolic sec uh, of x is 1 over the hyperbolic uh, cosine of x, 1 over cosh of x. We're going to have cosec hyperbolic cosec of x, that's going to be 1 over hyperbolic sine of x, um, and we've got cot of a uh, hyperbolic of x, cot of x, um, is 1 over the hyperbolic uh, tan of x. And we can either write them like this, or we can also write them in um, exponential forms as well. For, for example, one particularly useful uh, exponential form is to, is to write uh, the hyperbolic uh, tan uh, using these definitions. So I've got sine divided by cosine, so that's e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2, and then divided by cosh of x, so I'm going to turn that upside down and multiply, so 2, two uh, over e to the x plus e to the minus x. Uh, the 2's cancel, so it leaves e to the x minus e to the minus x divided by e to the x plus e to the minus x. And if we multiply 3 by e to the x top and bottom, we get e to the x times e to the x, that's e to the 2x. e to the minus x times e to the x is 1, so that's minus 1. Similarly on the bottom we get uh, e to the 2x plus 1. And that can be quite a useful form uh, for the hyperbolic tan. And now we've got these we can generate some further identities uh, as well, same, same as when you did it for ordinary sine and cosine. For example we can take that identity uh, cos squared x minus shine squared x is 1 and I could divide that through uh, by cos squared x and I would get 1 minus uh, tanch squared x is uh, set squared x. If I started with that one and instead divided through by shine squared of x, I would get coth squared of x, because cosh over shine is um, 1 over tanch, which is um, uh, coth. Uh, so uh, shine squared divided by shine is, shine squared is 1, and 1 divided by shine squared is uh, cosh squared of x. So two more identities there. And of course these are very similar to the ordinary trig identities, except we've got some minuses where we would have had uh, pluses before, we would have had 1 minus ta 1 plus tan squared is sec squared, we've got 1 minus tan squared is sec squared, and we've got, uh, we would have had uh, cot squared plus 1 is cosec squared, and we've got cot squared minus 1 is cosec squared of x, and that's typical of uh, these hyperbolic identities, that they're very similar to trig identities, but in some places they have uh, minuses instead of pluses, not everywhere, just in, just in some places. And so We'll think about that a bit more later on, but for now, we'll just be happy that we've got some identities and we can prove them either from these uh, exponential forms directly or perhaps using some of the um, other definitions we've got. Um, we also um, did some uh, differentiation and integration in the last, sorry, just differentiation in the last one. So we had the derivative of shine is cosh and uh, the derivative of cosh is, is shine. So we can use that with the, you know, with the chain rule, say the product rule to do some other uh, differentiation and, and integration. For example, I could say if I wanted to that um, d by dx of cosh 3x, uh, well that would be uh, cosh differentiates to shine, so by the chain rule we've got 3 shine uh, 3x. If I wanted to uh, integrate uh, 4 shine 2x dx uh, using the reverse chain rule here, I know cosh differentiates to shine, so shine is going to integrate to cosh, so I'm going to get something of the form uh, cosh 2x, and we can see we need a factor of uh, 2 in front here. If I differentiate this, I would get uh, 4 shine 2x by the chain rule, and of course uh, plus c for the indefinite integral. Um, and we can use the other uh, calculus results we've got, so I could use the um, product rule to differentiate, you know, say shine x times cosh x, and here I would get, uh, so I'd, different, I'd uh, differentiate um, cosh and leave shine alone, so I'd get shine x times shine x, and then I would do it the other way around and get, uh, differentiate shine x to get cosh x, and leave cosh x alone, so I'd get uh, shine squared x 
plus cos squared x and uh, notice that's not equal to 1 here, sine squared plus cos squared is 1 but it's a different identity for sine and cos um, in fact this would be equal to cos of 2x, we'll come back to that uh, later but you know we differ now just we differentiate it that's fine um, and we could uh, you know differentiate all sorts of things so for example one really useful result is to differentiate uh, tanj of x uh, which is d by dx of sine over uh, cosh so we could use the quotient rule uh, and so that would be um, the derivative of the top uh, times uh, times the bottom there minus uh, the top by the times of the derivative of the bottom and uh, all divided by uh, cos squared of x just using the ordinary quotient rule formula so this gives us cos squared minus sine squared which is 1 divided by cos squared of x so that's uh, set squared of x again almost an uh, identical result there you know, when we've got um, trig functions we've got the derivative of tan is sec squared and here we've got um, the derivative of tan is sec squared x so one of the slightly confusing things about these hyperbolic results is some of them are exactly the same some of them are a bit different um, but uh, in principle you know you can work them all out uh, in, in very similar ways to the trig functions